By the way, what is a constellation? Well, I'm glad you asked. For thousands of years, people have been looking into the sky and saying, oh, there's a group of stars which uh, looks like a man. There's a group which looks like a dog and various other things. Those patterns are called constellations. Have a look at this group of stars and see if you can see a pattern there. Can you see anything? Can you make a picture out of that? Maybe not. But some time ago, thousands of years ago, somebody looked at those stars and said, hmm, looks like a hunter. And so that's called the Orion constellation to this day. You need to use your imagination a little bit sometimes to see these pictures, these patterns. Here's another group of stars that for thousands of years has been called Leo because somebody thought that that group of stars looked like a lion. And so that's the name of that constellation. The stars themselves may be billions of kilometres apart from one another, but we see them grouped in the sky, and so we name them as a constellation. Here's another one. This one's called Sagittarius. Someone a long time ago thought it looked like a man's head and arms with the body of a horse and firing a bow and arrow. Sagittarius, another constellation. Well, they're fairly complicated ones, but here's a fairly simple one and one that I know you've heard of. Seen in the Southern Hemisphere, and it consists of five stars and is called, you guessed it, the Southern Cross. Have a look at that. Four large stars that form the main part of the cross. You can imagine a line going from there to there, forming the vertical part of the cross, and one going from there to there, forming the horizontal part of the cross, and one extra little star. That, of course, is on the Australian flag and the New Zealand flag. But if you ever get lost in the bush, you want to find your way home, as long as you locate that, and you know it's somewhere roughly south, you can find out exactly where south is by looking at the Southern Cross. The first thing you have to do is to imagine that there's a line coming down from that cross. There we are, from the top of the cross all the way down. That'll point approximately south. But if you want to find precisely where south is, you look for another pair of stars somewhere around called the pointers and imagine another line coming right down the middle of those two pointers at right angles to the line joining them and continuing on until it joins the line coming from the Southern Cross. That's called the South Celestial Pole, the South Pole in the sky. If you want to find where the South Pole is on the ground, you imagine a line coming straight down there to the horizon. That'll give you pretty close to true south. You can head off and find your way home. <laughs>